This is a this old fucking house update. Uh, we have heat, ladies and gentlemen. I said, fuck it, went down. In St. Louis here, they have a heating and cooling supply place. Went down there, told them what kind of furnace I had. Told them I needed the spark igniter. So I knew I had the exact one. I had ordered this one, and they said it was compatible, uh, but it wasn't. This one right here, and that one was sparking, but it wasn't working. So, got the exact one that goes for our ream furnace. Um, I need to get this all picked up. You don't want shit like this around pilot lights and everything else because catch fire and burn your ass out of house and home. But she's pumping out heat now. It lit, it stayed lit. So the original problem was what I thought it was, the flame sensor. It wasn't sensing the flame, so it shuts itself off. And it'll do that a few times and then it'll go into a lockout for safety reasons so that you don't blow yourself up. But I was going to clean this off uh, with sandpaper on the, uh, the original one that was in there on the spark igniter and I broke it. Um... It's like remote controls on them video games. I'm too damn rough with everything. Except for Amy. But uh, then I ordered this one. And it wasn't the right one. They look the same. But they're obviously not. I think mine puts out more. The one I'm supposed to have puts out more volts. But we got the exact part. From the furnace supply shop, and now we have heat. So, furnace is running, mission accomplished. Here I come to save the day. Now I need a coffee.